Hello! Hello! Welcome back to Roar 4X! And we've just managed to refuel our reprisal task force, which means only one thing! We're going to take the fight to the enemy. The Barnyard Star Aliens. Now, by the way, our diplomacy team did tell us a while ago that they are unable to establish communications. Communication is impossible. We're gonna have to fight them. And they're gonna have to die. So, we have 10 ships. Let's send them. All right, let's get the Reprisal Task Force. By the way, they drink fuel. They really do drink fuel. Uh, they're fully arm ammoed, they're fully fueled. As soon as we jump in system, bam, shields up. In fact, we're gonna do that before we get in, ship in system because I don't want to risk it. So, move to activate shields. Let's go back to looking at where is the jump point. Fire and star, there we go. Felt alone, installation at Mars. Uh, that's not me, that's civilians. Has Mars run out of insta if infrastructure then? Uh, it's supplying, but it is unfortunately out of infrastructure. Current infrastructure is zero. So yeah, it's run out. So we'll cancel that. Cancel. What a shame. Craig Wright keeps complaining about fuel. We'll send the fuel tanker over when we've got more fuel. We're currently still producing it at Earth. Right. I'm going to manually put their shields up, because that way we can just transition immediately. So, reprisal task force. Uh, I'm going to remove. And I'm going to tell you, shields up. Now, you might notice also that uh, the troop transports were built. The Clyde and the Harvard Yengen. I've loaded the construction brigades. Well, we are loading them. And then they're going to take them over to Glee's. And over there, we can then set up a uh, planetary defense center. Uh, we'll have to design one. Uh, and we can also do a couple other things over there. So, uh, like looking at the alien installation. All uh, right. I think we should be good to go. Let us do 20 minutes. Shields are now full. Ready. Active sensors off. We're going in dark. Barnard Star. It's down at transit. It's been a few years, but we don't forget. We do not forgive. Okay, so in theory, we're in range to start shooting right now. If I wanted to, I could just target the planet and fire. It's really tempting, because they're so close. I could actually have radiation warheads on board, loaded. Just jump in, fire the radiation warheads, get out. But we're going to go for standard fight. Which I think means turning on active sensors and unleashing everything we have. Are you ready? I don't think we've actually set up the fire groups, so I should quickly set those up. Um, yeah, you can see that they aren't set up. So we want to select assign missile to launchers. Uh, assign. So you say they're assigned. We should assign that to a fire group. No target. Active sensors off. Um, it's on the fire group. It's also got them ready to fire. And then assign to copy to race. So everything in my race should use that. So yeah, you notice that they are all ready to fire. You, on the other hand, uh, fire control. 70% chance. 70% uh, uh, your size 6. So assign, assign. And then you. Size ones. 
assign, assign. And then three. Just whenever you see a missile, basically. Set mode. And then copy to race. We should see everyone's ready. Okay. We're ready to go. Appraisal task force. Do I want to get up and close? Um, it's very tempting to just say I want to be right up and close and just unleashing everything. Would that give us any advantage, though? No. At the moment, we can jump out if we have any issues. In fact, we could jump out before the missiles get to us. Oh, that's a great idea. As soon as we see incoming missiles, we'll bugger off. It'll be fine. They won't ever get us. Oh, this is a great plan. All right. Prizal Task Force. Active on. Five second jump. Do you have your active sensors up? You just can't see anyone. This is really weird. You sure you've got active sensors on? Are they just still coming online or something? No, you must have them on. Oh, we're going to move towards them. Uh, it might be that it takes five minutes for them to register. There we go. We have hostile targets. Freya, Heimdall, Loki. I have no idea about these ships. Um, the Heimdall is pretty damn big. The Loki looks to be exactly the same tonnage, give or take 200 tons. The Freya is a lot smaller. I'm going to fire. Wave of missiles. Two wave of missiles. Three wave of missiles. Jump out. They should lose target lock. That's the plan. Right. Let's try it. Graceland. Spirit of Craig. Um, should we concentrate on taking one of them out first? Like the Heimdall or the Loki? Yeah, I think we fire everyone on them. Okay. Uh, assign. Uh, go with the, uh, to the same task group. Yes, so do that. So, you should all have Heimdall as a target. No target assignment. No. Copy task group? Really? Okay, uh, copy system. Oh. I didn't select all of this, maybe? Assign. Copy system? No target assignment. Oh! Copy target, not copy assign. Uh, copy in task group. There we go. Spirit of Craig. I want you to target the... Heimdall as well. Why not? Assign. Point defense mode doesn't need target assignment. Copy in task group. The Heimdall is going to get everything we've got. Two volleys. Then, two volleys on the Loki. Then, jump. Fire. They've kicked on active sensors. Who, who's got the active sensors in that group? That is some long-range active sensors. I don't remember them having them that long-range. Freya. The Freya's a small one. Okay, maybe I should be taking out the Freya. And fast! Look at that speed! Okay. Next volley goes to the Freya. Why are we not getting 30 seconds? Um, oh, we are. 
Are we ready to reload? As soon as the next volley comes in, I'm switching to the Freya. I want the active sensor down. They're running away. We're going to have to move to engage. The Freya moves very fast. I don't know if our missiles actually can hit the Freya, because they might get out of range. If we jump, our missiles can't target, because we lose active sensor lock. We're going to have to chase them. Uh, contacts. Move to follow the Freya. They're roughly in the same position right now, so that's not too bad. Uh, we're going to remove all, actually. Get rid of that, and then move follow the Freya. Just keep firing volley after volley after volley. Why are we moving so slow? Please explain this to me. Are we not in range of our missiles yet? Why am I looking at this... We should be in range. Why have we not fired? Our active sensor's not working. Please tell me our active sensors are up. Active sensors on. Active sensors off. I don't know if you even have active sensors, though. I thought you were assigning, uh, relying on the Graceland, so it could just be that. Range. 270, 257. So we're looking at 257 range. You should be in range. Why have we not fired? Oh. Uh, people are preparing to fire because they're in a task group and they're not used to it. So we should see in the event log something about that. Why are you not fired? Oh, because I didn't tell them to fire. They're still on hold fire? Really? Is that a thing? Auto fire. Auto fire. Auto I wish the button stayed clicked so I knew that that was a problem. Auto fire. Copy to task group. Five seconds. 30 seconds. Why are we not firing? Are we having issues getting a lock or something? Uh, current max shields, current power, casualties, available required power, grade bonus. Um, current fleet. Holding fire. Weapons firing. There we go. I right, just told them to do that. And I think you should all be firing. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. They're not ready to fire because they're waiting. Because uh, task force training and stuff. Ooh. They're having issues with range because of enemy uh, ECM. Okay, what if we switch target? We're targeting the Heimdall. What if we target the Loki? We can't hit the Freya, it's too fast. Um, assign. Copy to task group. Assign. Copy to task group. Oh. Cop class target. Class target. There we go. No, we need to get closer. Okay, fine. 
Then let us get closer. Are they going to run? Are we moving? We don't appear to be moving very fast, if so. Yeah, we are. It's nowhere near as fast as them. I mean, the Heimdall is stationary. So, whatever. We'll shoot the Heimdall when we can. When you get in range, shoot the Heimdall. Um, assign. Class and system. Class and task group. Doesn't matter which I pick. System. Multiple targets. Same lock. Each unit of the same class and system uses a circuit fire control against the target in the same location as the target of this fire control. Each unit of the same class and same fleet will use a selected fire control against a different ship target in the same location as the target of this fire. Okay, so basically this is like spread your fire out. That's pretty cool. I don't need to do that because I want to overwhelm this one. No, not 30 days. Oh, God. Luckily, it wouldn't do that. Oh, two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. It's not. I think it's jumping five seconds because it's informing me every single time. Yeah, it's jumping five seconds every time. Uh, I'm just going to hold fire. Um, cease fire. Current fleet. Right. 30 seconds. Right. Two minutes. Five minutes. 20 minutes. We lost contact with Freya. Give me another 20 minutes. We'll lose the Freya, but we'll still get the Heimdall and the Loki. What's the distance to these? Nearly engagement range. It looks like they're defending that. I don't know where Freya's going, but this seems to be their home planet. Auto fire. Come on. Firing. We have missiles in the water. Okay, I'm just going to fire a huge volley right now. I'll we'll switch targets. I'll we'll take on the Loki. Okay, right. Switching targets. Not that one. This one. Target the Loki. Assign. Task group. Loki. Assign. Task group. Uh, ooh, did I? Didn't copy it across. Yeah, you're still tying the low key. Oh, just, I didn't assign the Heimdall at all. Okay. Assign. Am I, like, imagining it? I was targeting the low key before, wasn't I? Class and task group. Assign. Class and task group. Let's just double check. I'm just not imagining things, am I? Targeting Loki, targeting Loki, targeting Heimdall. No, I was targeting the Heimdall. Heimdall, 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 Heimdall. Yeah, so I do want to target Loki. I'm just making crap up. See, this is what happens under pressure. I break. Loki, assign. Class and task group. Loki, assign. Class and task group. I 
how much ordnance do we have left? Uh, we can get a quick idea from the screen, actually. Why have you not fired yet? You just don't have the range, I guess? The Grayson's have better senses or something? Why are you not firing? You haven't fired at all. Oh, I need to set you like this. Oh. Well, that explains a few things. I'm going to put you on ceasefire. And then I'm going to put you... Can I just... Open fire. And same to task group? No, it doesn't work that way. Because I want the front guys to... Actually, yeah, I can just hit open fire for everyone, right? They should open fire. The front guys, I can then set to um, clear target, class in task group. Yeah, I know it has no target set. I actually want to clear it. Clear. 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 Okay. Okay, there we go. They fired at the low key. That's another one at the low key. And I want one more volley at the low key. Then we switch to the Heimdall. Okay, switching to Heimdall. It's a bit of Craig. Assign the low key. Same in class. And you are firing at... Why are you not firing at the... Oh, you, you are firing the Heimdall. Excellent. All right. Keep that up. That's three. I might go to four. What's the status on our ammo? 110. Oh, yeah, because I gave you stupid amounts of ammo, didn't I? <laughs> You could probably do this. Just keep firing. A few more volleys each, yeah. Good number of more volleys. And then bring up the fire control again. Switch to Loki, assign, same in task group. There we go. And we'll get maybe two or three more volleys off on the Loki as well. And then uh, I would like everyone to cease fire. Let's just double check. Holding fire. Okay. Now I just come to some marine warfare part. Here we go. Closing in. Let's find out just how much of a beating these guys can take. Pretty sure we aren't advancing at the actual time I'm trying to do. Yep, time increments five seconds. That's 
fine. We're almost there. Oh, they're taking down our missiles. You can see them disappearing. Okay, well, we've got bigger waves incoming. Damn, they are taking them out. They have some serious anti-missile firepower. This is incredibly frustrating. At such a, like, we're moving 27,000 kilometers a second. They're taking them out pretty reliably. To be fair, they are firing a lot of anti-missiles. One of these must be a dedicated anti-missile cruiser, because um, that was like 23 went off at once. That, there we go, 21 missiles have just detonated. Nine more detonated. Let's see you take these down. Took out eight. Oh, damn, they did take them all out. Took out six of those. They've got another one. I don't know if our missiles are actually getting closer. I think they're just taking them down. Maybe their planet has defenses on it. Maybe it's the planet defending them. We're getting closer, though. I don't have enough ammo for this. We're unleashing, like, a lot of firepower, and they're just brushing it off. Yeah, running our missiles. That said, they must be running out of missiles. Oh, getting closer. Okay, well, how close do we have to get to get inside their perimeter? Within a billion kilometers. <sighs> Risky. Very risky. Gonna do it. Hopefully they'll run out of missiles at some point. But I want my reprisal. Oh, close. I'm starting to suspect it's the planet that's actually got the anti-missile. Oh! Oh, no! So close! And the missiles are actually starting to get through, and that's where our volley gave up. Ah. Oh, well. We're going to get closer. Oh, look! So close! Right. We're moving in system. We're taking the fight to you. We're going point blank up against your face. Bring it. Yeah, this is very stupid. They're going to use their anti-missile defenses against me, but I will tank. My missiles can't. It slowed down time. That must means they. That must means they've launched missiles. Uh, not that one. That must mean they've launched missiles at me. Ten seconds. Yeah. Um, I think we're gonna have to just unleash missiles and turn around. I don't know what they're packing, and I don't know if I really want to tank all of the missiles to get any closer. Too far away. So yeah, we're gonna turn.
Head to the soul jump point. Um, move two. The reason is uh, that'll put distance between us and the missiles, and the closing distance between the missiles will be decreased. Their missiles are very fast, but it'll help. And then I would like to auto-fire. I want the entire task group auto-firing. Uh, you don't have a target assignment. Your target assignment is the low key. No, I want you opening fire. Okay, in which case, I want you targeting the Loki as well. Sign. Open fire. Are you opening fire? Yes. Get ready. Get those huge batches going. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm empty the entire magazine at the low key. We can always go back and rearm. We would have to spend several years making more weapons. We're actually using quite a lot of missiles. If you hadn't noticed. Industry. In fact, I'm going to start making those missiles right now. And in fact, I'm going to start making... Uh, more ordnance factories. How many do we have? 200. Yeah, we need 200 more. 200. Set. These construction factories never get done. There we go. Uh, and I would like you to start on missiles. We're going to need like a thousand of these. Probably a little bit more. Goes 1,200. They'll completed by August of next year. Yeah, we should probably have a little bit more, but oh well. Uh, Anti-missile missiles. Uh, I don't know if we're going to use any of these. I'm going to set 100. I'm going to keep firing. Any missiles are very close because we're getting five second chunks only. That's my suspicion at least. Could be wrong. Okay. How many missiles do we have left? Because at some point I will have to switch to the Heimdall. Fifty. A sign. Same in task group. The Graceland, however, keep firing the Loki. Because if the Loki's injured, you can finish it off. That's the idea. I don't know if the Graceland has many missiles left. Probably doesn't. Yeah, they're out. No missile type assigned to this launcher. Which is possibly why we're having some issues. Um, Graceland. I'm just, you're going to have to hold fire. Holding fire, holding fire, holding fire. I want you opening fire. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Should have done the other way around, but whatever. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire. Open fire! Let's just check all of these are firing. Yes, okay. Um, no missile this type available for the ship's magazines. Oh, those are the anti-missile missiles, yeah. We're out. That's it. Well. Cease fire. Head back. Nuclear detonation, strength 1. Yeah, they use their anti-missile missiles against us. Times 55? 
Oof. What the hell? Who took that, I wonder? Let's look at reprisal. Anyone here look obviously injured? The Sekuli. That just one hell of a hit. The shields are down to half strength. Let's bring up the Sekuli. Um, you seem fine. Let's bring you up in the ship view. Uh, size. Sekuli. I don't know where you will be. Um, here. There we go. Uh, damage control. Bit of armor damage, but mostly fine. For 55 anti-missile missiles, I think we're fine. To be fair, they're only anti-missile missiles, so... But we are expecting to get quite a uh, pounding from them. That's fine. Just keep hitting us. Shields are down. Oh, hello. Hostile missile contact. Times 55. Thermal 2. That's why we're not seeing them. They're thermally dampened or something. Oh, we're just tiny. Securely recharged. 0.5 shields. Oh, great. Uh, let's pick up the uh, Sekuli again and have a look at it now. That's that's pretty painful. I'm going to put this up on the top screen and I'm going to let you know how it goes. Can I refresh this? Is there a way to refresh this? There isn't actually a refresh button on this. That sucks. Can I just flip between... Oh yeah, there we go. Click it again. Damage control, fuse storage is down, missile fire control is down, uh, one of our launches is down. Uh, I'm going to just randomly set some of these to begin damage control. But yeah, we are actually starting to take some issues here. Oh, crap. A load of our missiles have just decided they've given up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that? Why have I suddenly lost? Why have we suddenly lost sensors? I do sensors on. I do sensors on. I do sensors on. I do sensors on. Okay. I do sensors on. Yeah, I know, but you have... Did they just disappear? No, they're still there. Okay, the Sekuli looks like it's got a break now. I assume it's the ones that were connected to that fire control that went out. Right. Here we go. Hello. We seem to be getting a little bit close. Energy weapon impact. Strength one detected. Okay, so they're using uh, lasers or something to be anti-missiles. Um, point blank defense fire. Okay, so they're actually shooting down our missiles point blank. Uh, excellent. An error. Great. Some more errors. Yes! The Loki's dead. It was hit by 34, 32 Strength 9 missiles, admittedly. Um, well, let's see how the Heimdall copes. Seriously? The Heimdall missiles just... Do did... we just not fire any at the Heimdall? Am I making that up? We killed a Loki class. Okay, so we've killed one. I'm going to call that mission a victory. Um, I'm going to get the reprisal task group to head back through the solar jump point. 
to earth and refuel and resupply it now if I'm completely honest with you. Um, and then reload on afterwards. Yes, because we'll need the time. Um, in terms of how much that cost us, I'm not sure it was worth it. We spent a lot of fuel. Uh, let's just check how much fuel we lost. Actually, very little. I forget that this is so close to the jump point. And we spent a lot of ordnance. We spent a year's worth of ordnance. But we did kill the enemy. We show that they can bleed. That is what's important. Of course, we didn't really get to fight a Freya. But we still killed something. Now, of course, I can't go collect that. The Heimdall is there. But next time, we'll come back. If we can kill the Heimdall, excellent. Now, here's my concern. The Freya is running. What is the Freya running to? It could have just been running away, or it could have been running to a grav jump point. If it was running to a jump point, maybe they have more. But we're going to come back. And next time, I think we come back with new ships. Better ships. Tougher ships. Ships that have anti-missile defenses. Ships that have even better missiles. Next generation missiles. <gasps> yes, we should stop building these missiles and we should make a next generation of missile. I like this plan. Um, industry. Cancel that. And cancel that. Next generation missile. We can just place it on the existing ships. They won't mind. They get new missiles. We maybe don't even need upgrade those ships. Those ships probably don't need upgrading. They do, but it'd be expensive to upgrade them. And we don't have the time because I want to come back and fight them. So we can just give them new missiles for the launchers. Which means they have to obey the old ranges, which is annoying. Maybe we could replace their fire control for the point uh, defense, maybe. Either way, new missiles on them. And then a new ship of some kind. I'm thinking a ship that has... I don't know. I'm very tempting to put a ship that can grav bomb the enemy planet, but I don't want to do that with radiation because it makes it unusable and reduces the output. And I'd quite like to capture it, so what we're going to do is probably do a, okay, we've killed all your ships, we're going to stay in orbit, and then we're going to drop troops on you. So we'll need to come up with a combat drop ship for dropping all the troops. Um, how about ground units? We've got heavy battalions, assault battalions. Uh, I want more. I want many, many more. Many more. Does it tell us size? Uh, no. Alright, it tells us size here. Uh, heavy, five. Uh, assault, five. Okay, so I could get quite a few in one dropship. Or just make them small dropships, yeah. Let's start training up some more assault infantry. We're going to take the fight to them. Or we could build some marines. Ah, they cost more to train. And they need um, armor, more durantium. Ah, that's fine. We're assaulting. We'll use the assault infantry. Next time, we're going to think about troops. We're also going to start shipping out fuel to places that need it. Because right now, we've got a giant orbital station that can terraform the planet instantly. But it doesn't have any fuel. Which is understandable. But is annoying. Um, and of course, we're going to start work on Alpha Centauri, which is an amazing planet. Just double check and get out of here. The Freya's coming back. I hope it doesn't come into Sol. Not that I'm going to know. I'm going to jump through. <sighs> oh well. But yeah, Alpha Centauri is such an amazing system. It's going to be amazing. Going to be absolutely amazing. Uh, so far, we're just unloading like loads of infrastructure and stuff. Whatever. Uh, I think what we'll do is, even though we're going to like have a lot of planets up here, we'll still mass driver all the stuff up to the jump point, so we'll dump it on one of these planets and then collect it from here. So basically, even if it's a barren planet, we'll dump it there. That way people don't have to travel that far, because it's quite a large system. Uh, if we have a look at this, you are talking 3 billion kilometers. Could take a little while. So it saves a lot of people uh, hassle by mass driving all the stuff in system. But anyway, I've been Eric If you have enjoyed, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Our first military victory 
I mean, other than letting them ram our cargo ships to kill them. But hey, a military victory is a military victory, and that's what counts. We will take Barna's star system. It will be ours. We do not want neighbors. It's just bad for defense. It's just a terrible idea. And I certainly want to make Alpha Centauri a badass place, because Alpha Centauri is better than it's better than the Sol system in terms of habitability. It'd be amazing. But anyway, till then, stay shiny. <laughs>